So who should sign up for Swim Run? Well, of course you should, but what needs to be taken into account is that this is truly an endurance event. So it is requiring quite a bit of training and probably a good amount of base in order to complete it safely um, and to have fun doing it, which is actually the end goal all the time anyways. So what you wanna do is make sure that you develop enough of a base where you're gonna be able to be out there exercising for perhaps a short course lasting at least two hours um, of active racing. And for the long course, probably around four to five hours um, of active racing throughout. So that's not something to be taken lightly. I'm not trying to scare you away from it by any means, but every course can be very different. And so a point of comparison is I've done a race in North Carolina and then a race here in Georgia, um, both of which um, were the longer course events, so kind of running to the four hour duration. Um, the race in North Carolina was very much um, a runner's race, so it was a little bit shorter in the swims um, comparatively to the runs, whereas the swim run Georgia, I felt actually had longer in comparison swims and um, the runs were still long, but just the proportion of the swim was a little bit longer. So it's always good to kind of know and understand your comfort level with those di varying disciplines. Um, I will say that the race in North Carolina, and I consider myself to be a reasonably fit person, was probably the most challenging race I've ever done um, throughout all of my athletic career. So it was awesome, um, but it did require a fair amount of both physical and also mental endurance. So training to both of those um, is highly recommended.